Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain and today I was going to make a piece of armour or a helmet or something cool and high tech but I went to a cosplay um, workshop today at Café de Soit I hope I said that right, I'll put a link down below and I've spent all day sitting next to the very lovely Cora Jade who's a pro level cosplayer and she's been putting together carbone or cubone helmets so Pokemon type things with skulls so I've decided to make something primitive the most primitive thing I could think of was a club but not just any club I'm going to make a club made from a human femur that's right my revered uncle died got mauled to death by a mammoth or a saber toothed tiger or something and I've kept his leg bone and I'm going to make a club out of it. So here all I've got is a piece of pizza box cardboard that will cut the right shape. And for this project we're going to need a core because I might actually hit somebody with it, I don't want it to bend. And this is just a piece of fiberglass tent pole from one of the dome tents. So we're going to need that. We're going to need a off cut of foam. On this I've already drawn up the template three times as well as the ends a couple more times just to give me some more thickness. In addition to the foam we're going to need some paint, maybe latex paint, maybe not. Also some scraps of fur and maybe some feathers or a tooth and some leather thonging to tie it all together. The tools I'll be using to make this are only my knife and the Dremel for sanding disc and it'll all be glued together with contact adhesive. So I might cut all of this out and get back to you when it's ready to assemble. So everything's cut out. I put contact adhesive on the first couple of pieces ready to stick them together. And since this is for a cosplay thing and not a LARP thing, with the core I've just attached it with some gaff tape. If it was for a LARP I would have contact adhesived it into the center groove here as you can see it goes all the way through so this is just a simple sandwich construction now while we're waiting for this to all glue together and dry because with this you only get one chance at it and then you've screwed it so you go put it together carefully I'd like to introduce you to a nice simple little tool this thing here it is called a paint tin key. What is it for, you ask? Have you ever grabbed your tin of contact adhesive or paint and can't get the lid off? You know, you've tried with your scissors to lever it off and all you've done is broken the end of them. You've tried with your knife or a file which has snapped and gone pinging across the room. That's because all of those have too much high tensile steel in them. What you need is one of these. Observe. You put it into the tin. You give it a twist sideways. You move it around the tin. You twist again. And it lifts the lid off. Now these things can be bought from the paint counter in Bunnings for only a couple of dollars. And they will really, really make your life better in the workshop. Uh, also, this part in the middle here is for taking caps off beer bottles for when you finish your project. So, go and get yourself one of these. Actually, go get yourself two of these for when you lose the first one. It'll make your life so much better. Okay, I have all the pieces glued together. And at the moment, it doesn't look that much like a club. What it looks like is, well, you all know what it looks like. I don't need to be crude and risk a community strike on my channel. But the idea now is to shape it down. I could just hit it with my Dremel, but if I take a razor blade to it first, anything I slice off won't end up as pink foam dust all over my workshop. So I'm now going to sit here and bevel all the edges of this until it's pretty much round. And then I'm just going to use a Dremel to clean up the very, very edge. So as you can see, the brand new razor slices 
through the foam really nicely. And yeah, I'll shape this down and then I'll come back to show you the finished shape before I start painting it. Well, don't do that. And then definitely don't wipe your hand on your mouth and you're covered in pink dust. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a bone, except for the fact that it's pink. But that's what the paint and latex will fix. And I've had a pink dust party and didn't invite anyone. I'll show you what I mean. Everything has gone pink. Everything. I've gone pink. The table's gone pink. Actually, the inside of my mouth has gone pink after that silly sound of putting this in my mouth. So yes, looks kind of like a femur or a thigh bone. Let's see how it pulls up after I've got some paint on it. So I've just about shaped it enough, I think. So here we are with my finished weapon. The bone is nicely shaped. It has some dried blood splatter on it from beating people. Down by the handle, we have some kangaroo fur wrapped with leather cord and some feathers, including a magpie feather. That's how scary this club is. It's scary enough that even the magpies give it tribute. So I think any Stone Age laugh or cosplay would love to have this club as a thing. So, question is, who am I going to get to wear the fur bikini for a photo shoot with a whole bunch of caveman props. Hmm. Anyway, this is Wolf from Armory Train saying, go out and make something.